solidifies it in America's mind that this is a crisis. This I mean, is big. What, what the crisis is, is being a journalist and mm -hmm. being treated like a terrorist. Right. You know, journalists are terrorists. I mean, it's called controversial journalism now, but I guess, you know, the, the government doesn't know that journalism's supposed to be controversial. That's the whole point. Sometimes right. you got to hop a fence. Sometimes you got to sneak by. But today we went through all the proper, your proper protocol. We did everything the right way. We announced our being there. We said we're press. We called ahead of time. And then we get there and they give us the runaround. Right. And they try to make you, you know, well, you didn't go through the proper channels and the proper channels is to get stonewalled and yeah. that's, they just want to be we able called to and they tell said you no. they said no you need to call this number and then the guy department of homeland security in washington goes no you need to email this email and i was like we've already done that <laughs> no one's responding we're doing what we're supposed to do but you keep blocking us on every front right you know every everything that we do you're blocking us on it's ridiculous and the fact of the matter is they put out a press release saying they were going to be having a press conference there and then they so act like it never happened you i mean up. it's i America is just losing its mind right now. Our government's out of control. Absolutely. Well, and those kids are in there eating lobster, I bet. Hey, having, <laughs> yeah. so, having fun playing soccer. Here I am getting bullied outside. Right, exactly. An American citizen, retired army. Come on. Yeah, and that's, that's the big issue for them is they want to be able to spin this and only let America see the images that they want them to see and only let them hear the president saying that he's going to be putting some $93 million into programs to fix this situation now. Um, you know, so that's kind of the way that they want to spin this. They don't want everyone to realize what a real debacle this has become. Thank you for once again getting detained <laughs> by doing your job. This time by Secret <laughs> Service and Department of Homeland Security. Yeah. They've, They're for our protection. They've got all your information. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. All right. Well, coming up after the break, President Obama is considering airstrikes on the very militants that his administration armed just one year ago. Alex Jones here to break down some exciting developments in the area of research concerning supplemental iodine. It's nothing less than phenomenal. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. And I used some of the mainline iodine supplements and they upset my stomach and I had some issues with it. Until I discovered a product being developed by Dr. Group, who I was already interviewing as an expert on my radio show, and I began taking the product before he actually rolled it out. You now know it as Survival Shield True Nascent Iodine that your body can really absorb. Then, about a year ago, he said, listen, if you think this is powerful, I'm going to come out with rare earth, deep earth crystals that are incredibly powerful that no one else has as a source for their iodine from between seven and 12,000 feet, literally drilled out of the ground. You put it on a hot plate, and it turns into the pure gas. No one else has 99.99% pure iodine. And the results that I personally have had have been life-changing. I was over 270 pounds. And with the iodine exercise and better diet, I have lost now more than 50 pounds total and I'm continuing to lose the weight. I have more energy, my libido, all this crap came out of my skin. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. This is innovating, this is trailblazing, and the best part is it helps fund Infowars.com, the radio show, the TV show, the whole media operation promoting true libertarian ideas. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. Take advantage of this unprecedented 30% off super detox special at InfowarsLife.com. The Obama administration is now considering airstrikes in Syria against militants that it supported just one year ago. Now, The Hill reports that the president is weighing up a possible air offensive in Syria on the terror camps of the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Now, when asked whether military action could extend into Syria, a senior administration official said, 
We don't restrict potential U.S. action to a specific geographic space. But just over a year ago, the administration greenlighted the arming and training of militants in Syria, despite intelligence indicating that they had direct links to extremist groups. The, the president even went so far as to take executive action to waive prohibitions under the Arms Export Control Act to enable the arming of vetted opposition groups fighting the Syrian dictator Assad. A year on, and Obama officials have now admitted to the arming of moderate militants in Syria, despite the fact that it is known that the weapons supplied by the U.S. have now been transferred to Islamic extremists. Obama said at a news conference on Thursday that rather than try to play whack-a-mole wherever these terrorist organizations may pop up, what we have to do is to be able to build effective partnerships. And the U.S. is very good at building these effective partnerships with whomever it is that's going to help them further their New World Order agenda. This is an emergency transmission from FEMA Region 6 in occupied North America. In February of this year, we reported that 50 Americans were fighting alongside Syrian rebels and al-Qaeda. Now, with the backing of Saudi money and U.S. government money, they've grown. And their name is ISIS, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. They're taking over the country that we were supposed to help liberate. Inch by inch, mile by mile, head by head, ISIS is destroying everything that we fought for and mid-died for in Iraq. And this isn't the first time that our government has done this. Let's remember here, the people we are fighting today, we funded. I can't see fighting to impose Sharia law in, in Syria. I also can't see sending my son to fight with Islamic rebels against Christians. I also can't see my son going to fight with Al, on the same side as Al-Qaeda. There are so many ironies and unfortunate muddling nature to this that I can't see why we should get involved. So here is a list of different countries that we've gone into and supported terrorists. I found an interesting article on alternet.org titled 35 countries where the U.S. has supported fascists, drug lords, and terrorists. Number one would be Afghanistan. After Mikhail Gorbachev withdrew Soviet forces in 1989, these U.S.-backed warlords tore the country apart and boosted opium production to an unprecedented level of 2,000 to 3,000 tons per year. The Taliban government cut opium production by 95% in two years between 1999 and 2001. But the U.S. invasion in 2001 restored the warlords and drug lords power. And let's go recruit these Mujahideen and let's great, let's get some to come from Saudi Arabia and other places importing their Wahhabi brand of Islam. Another country where America has supported terrorist activity would be Mexico. The death toll in Mexico's drug war has recently passed 100,000. The most violent of the drug cartels is Los Zetas. U.S. officials call the Zetas the most technologically advanced, sophisticated, and dangerous drug cartel operating in Mexico. The Zetas cartel was formed by Mexican security forces trained by U.S. Special Forces at the School of the Americas in Fort Benning, Georgia, and at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Another instance was in Nicaragua. Anastasio Somasa ruled Nicaragua for 43 years with unconditional U.S. support, and his National Guard committed every crime imaginable, from massacres and torture to extortion and rape, with complete impunity. The CIA recruited, trained, and supported Contra mercenaries to invade Nicaragua and conduct terrorism to destabilize the country. Well, as you can see, those are just a few examples of instances where our government has helped fund and back terrorists in different countries around the world. I encourage you to go check out that article. It's a really neat article. It talks about 35 countries that we've done that in. Look at it, inform yourself, and get educated. globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. 
After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super male vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. Today I'd like to talk about the war on women. You've experienced and heard about the benefits of Super Male Vitality. Now, the new formula has arrived. Introducing the new Super Female Vitality. I have specifically designed this formula to help the body naturally regulate itself without the use of artificial hormones. Key ingredients chosen from the highest quality sources. Each of these ingredients works synergistically with the female body in order to maximize overall vitality. You've heard the reviews and the feedback on how the original super male vitality has revitalized relationships. Now, both the man and the woman can have the revitalization in their own bodies with super male vitality and super female vitality. Secure your super female vitality today from our limited stock at InfoWarsLife.com. A strange catastrophe that links plastics to infertility struck Spain's pig farmers in 2010. On some farms, all of the sows stopped reproducing. On others, those that did become pregnant produced smaller litters. Investigators found that only one factor was common to all the farms and studs. The plastic bags used in the artificial insemination process all came from the same place. Analytical chemist Christina Nerin says that her study is the first to show a correlation between reproductive failures and chemicals migrating from plastics. So this strange case of infertile pigs can really show the dangers that we face because some of those same plastics that were found in the packaging material is routinely used to package foods for human consumption and they're known to migrate into food. Some of the same plastics found in those packaging materials are routinely used to package foods for human consumption and are known to migrate into food. Cyclic lactone, for instance, is a common byproduct in adhesives and it's used in potato chip bags and sliced meat packages. It was one of the chemicals found in very high levels on the farms with the highest rates of reproductive failure. Another chemical that was found in very high levels on those farms is a compound called BADGE, which is a derivative of the notorious BPA, a known endocrine disruptor. A lot of research has linked endocrine disruptors to adverse health effects, including abnormal testicular development, early puberty, prostate and breast cancer, and even obesity. A paper published last month revealed that chemicals omnipresent in food, household, and personal care products can have a damaging effect on human fertilization. The chemicals that had the strongest effects included UV light filtering agents in sunscreens, plastic softening phthalates that are used in food and drink containers, and fungicides and antibacterial compounds such as triclosan, which are commonly found in soaps, toothpaste, and toys. Another endocrine disruptor is glyphosate, Glyphosate's use has exploded since the advent of glyphosate-resistant genetically engineered crops in 1995. It is commonly found in those GE crops because they absorb glyphosate through direct application and also from the soil, meaning it cannot be washed off. It is in the food. A lot of research has linked endocrine disruptors with adverse health effects, including abnormal testicular development, prostate and breast cancer, early puberty, and even obesity. According to the Center for Disease Control, 6.7 million women of childbearing age have an impaired ability to have children. The number of women receiving help with fertility increased 113% between 1999 and 2008. Birth defects haven't been on the rise in the U.S., but in the soy-producing regions of Argentina, they've been skyrocketing. 
In 2010, the University of Cordoba released a report that showed the incidence rate of birth defects in South America has increased by 347 percent, which they claim is linked to aerial spraying of glyphosate on soy crops. A Russian study found that feeding hamsters GMO soy resulted in complete sterility after two or three generations. In other words, the chemicals that you are exposed to today could make your children and their children infertile. There is some good news, at least in the case of the infertile Spanish pigs, when the company responsible for providing those faulty storage bags switched to 